Right. Could uh, body art help the disabled? And is Botox <coughs> blocking people from really getting to know each other? To some of the questions we will answer in another edition of Thumbs Up or Thumbs Down with surgeon and scientist Dr. Raul John Dial giving us the ultimate house call. All right, our thumbs are ready, Dr. John. We got some good ones. Right. I had to dig okay. deep for these. All right, first one. Tongue piercing has a medical use. Yes or no? No. Down. Well, guess what? If you're paralyzed and you have an injury here, like Christopher Reeves, you yeah. saw him with that straw, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. the way the straw works is he, he inhales or exhales in it. It's very rudimentary. So now they're looking at putting a tongue piercing that's a magnetic bead that they can twist around in their mouth and control their wheelchairs. Wow. wow. That's so it cool. does have an it application. And, right. and I think people don't realize when you get paralyzed from here, you still have brain nerves yeah. that come out to your eyeballs and your tongue, mm -hmm. and you can still turn your head a little bit. So even when you're quadriplegic, yeah. you still have control of your tongue, and that's their only way to be independent. Wow. That's so that's pretty cool. They're looking that's at that. Incredible. Okay. Number two. Happy states have the highest rates of suicide. Happy states. Like Hawaii. Like people where they report, oh, life is good. Up. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. Thumbs they up. They actually, it is true. Really? Yeah. And so this well, how is... How are they the happiest states? Well, exactly. If, yeah. they're, if they're having a lot of suicide. Dang. But New York, 45th on happiness, lowest suicide rate. Huh. Hawaii, Good second point. in happiness rating, fifth in suicide rate. And I think this is an important one that you can't assume, you know, you know you're in Hawaii and it looks yeah. good or you're in the Pacific Northwest, you can't assume these things, and that's why we kind of need these studies. But so many people move to Hawaii, and the big thing is don't start drinking before noon. <laughs> that's it, yeah. If you don't say you're okay, but Well, and uh, a lot of people there, you. they talk about the fact that they suffer from island fever, that there's they, you can't get off island oh, easily. Yeah. And, and in Seattle with the rain, they have yeah. seasonal affective disorder, and some right. people say a dentist, compared to other professionals, have a higher suicide rate because they're working on people who are awake all the time and thrashing around. So all of these things... <laughs> It's true. All of these things and don't, I have a don't necessarily fit. On Thursday. I'll think about that. Yeah. Excellent. And the last one, Botox. This is a great one. Botox. Let's defer. I, you know what? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm I kidding. don't buy into this, but what I is, say what's the question? definitely. Botox messes up somebody's ability to understand somebody else's emotions. Oh, absolutely. So if I have Botox, I can't understand as well when you're mad at me. Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely. The other way around, I agree. He knows well. It's Marcus. true. Really? Absolutely. So there's some well, study how, that, why? well, like parrots mimic each other. Humans, when you, you, if you look concerned, and my face will be concerned, and that'll help my brain receive the fact that that's a true emotion. And so if you have Botox and you can't sort of mirror what's going on, you can't kind of figure out I as, feel so sorry for you as well smiling. what is going right. on. Well, so, wow. So that's a Who funny knew? one. So you they're being rude to you. Good one. Somebody's being rude to you. It might be just because they don't understand what you're going through. They had a lot yeah. of Botox. Or just, yeah, too much Botox. That's all. <laughs> you can't figure out what's going on in here. What's going on in you can't more information tell. on these topics and so many more, go to ktla.com slash Dr. John D. We love when the good doctor comes good in. Good stuff. Doctor.